What is stop and frisk? Let's first understand what is stop. The brief detention of a person by the police for questioning. A stop requires reasonable suspicion. Now let's understand what is frisk. A pat down or minimal search by police to discover weapons. It is conducted for the protection of the officer. Let's make it more simpler. You're a young man minding your business on a street corner, when suddenly a police officer strides forward and asks you something. When you hesitate in responding, he aggressively pushes you against a fence and does a pat-down search of your outer clothing to check for weapons, discovering a vial of cocaine instead. Was the police officer acting within the law? It depends on whether the search could be characterized as a stop and frisk. But what is stop and frisk, and how is it legal? This type of search happens when police officers stop you for questioning and pat down your clothing to see if you're carrying a gun or knife, much like in the situation described above. Although the U.S. Supreme Court has upheld this practice, there are still boundaries that police cannot cross. When can police stop and frisk you? Imagine a police officer on patrol who becomes suspicious of two individuals he observes repeatedly peering into a store window. To the police officer, the two individuals seem like they might be casing the store for a robbery. When he approaches to question them and one mumbles a response, can the officer forcefully spin him around and pat down his outer clothing to check for weapons? These were essentially the facts in Terry v. Ohio, the precedent-setting 1968 Supreme Court case about stop and frisk. The justices held that a police officer who's investigating suspicious behavior may lawfully pat down the outer clothing of someone reasonably believed to be armed and dangerous in an attempt to discover weapons that might be used to assault the officer. The court concluded that stop and frisk doesn't violate the U.S. Constitution's Fourth Amendment, which prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures. Because of the landmark decision's name, another common term for a stop and frisk is a Terry Frisk or Terry Search. However, the police aren't allowed to target people willy-nilly. While they don't need probable cause to stop you, they must have reasonable suspicion of criminal activity. Also, they can't frisk you unless they reasonably believe that you may be armed and dangerous. Importantly, any contraband that officers find during the weapons pat-down, such as illegal drugs, can usually be used against you in court.